Hello, folks. The topic of this session is rising software quality with Python, iOS XR and CQE kit story. My name is Mike Korshinov, and I'm technical marketing manager within Moscow Infrastructure Group. I'm software engineer in the past, and I enjoy spending my time um, doing some small automation, writing bots, or doing a little bit of development here and there. So, I want to share a story how we came up with our own testing solution and why it's important for us. Let's take a look at iOS XR portfolio. This session is not about going deep dive into iOS XR or crosswork qualification environment by itself. I just want to give you a glimpse how we are testing our software, why it's important to us, and how we can help our customers to certify their own um, deployment or future networking equipment. Okay, iOS XR is a very versatile portfolio. We have custom silicon. Uh, with, for example, it's running on ISR90 or Cisco 8000. We are also running with merchant silicon. So it's like NCS 5500, 5700, NCS 500. Also virtual form factor is here. And beside virtual, we also have um, iOS XR running on third-party hardware. So it's a lot of um, equipment on top of which we are running our own operation system. And we need a way to uh, properly test it, to raise the software quality very high, to push this bar up and to satisfy our customers and have them sleep good at night. So we came up with our own testing solution. Internally, it started as a coffee and when we just like pushed it publicly as a crossword qualification environment. And I just want to give you a few metrics about it. Internally, uh, we developed 10K test cases for different platforms, different, uh, different automation packages. And those test cases are available for daily usage and available to the like, users of this product. So it, we keep uh, evolving our test case base Sometimes we just like modifying them or increase quality of those test cases. So we constantly put development effort into like adding new or enhancing current test cases. Besides that, we have around 500 active uh, daily test runs. And I will touch base on the test run um, a little bit more to give you an idea of what it exists and how to like handle it. All those 10K test cases they are summarized into 35 plus automation packages. BFD, OSPF, BGP, manageability, you name it. We have automation packages for it in routing. And internally, around 350 contributors from engineering and across organizations, we have uh, contributed to this uh, testing solution. It's on uh, the it's on Enterprise GitHub, but um, if you're interested, you can let us know and we, we can provide you access to it. So what's the building blocks of our testing solution? The first is CQE Kit. And with CQE Kit, it's Python-based framework. It gives you a lot of idea how we automate start. And this is foundation for building those 10K test cases. Because every time you're developing um, new test for ISIS, you will rely on the security kit. Security kit will handle a lot for you. But we build a lot of smarts in our solution because besides the kit itself, Python framework is good. We love it, we all use it, but we need to build extra intelligence behind. That's why we built in a lot of smarts. We will not go into details for smarts or right now, but if you all want to check, there's a resources slide, the last one, and we have links for Cisco Live recordings or other materials on DevNet. In order to fulfill our testing requirements, we have tons of test beds and we have physical test beds, we have virtual test beds. And we also specify them by type of consumption. They can be internal only test beds or rentable by the customers. Because let's say you want to certify a new release of software 
and you may already have some automation uh, tools and like pieces here and there, but you can go for full blown solution and even can rent a test bed for it. And last but not least is automation packages because it gives you pretty good and deep testing capability across various um, aspects in routing portfolio. You want to test ACLs. Here you go, we have automation package for it. So those 35 plus automation packages cover you in most scenarios. Of course, we cannot cover the whole universe. It's primarily XR um, oriented, but it can be easily extensible because we rely on open source tools. If we take uh, a look, a quick look at our uh, in enterprise GitHub repo, you can see like how many like effort and like commits we contributed to, to this repo. And this is ongoing activity. This is lifing, this is developing. We keep adding new features and security kit is Python based again. So we relying on well-known tool tooling and everyone in like automation community probably hear something uh, at least about it or may use it extensively. So PyTest is de facto standard testing framework for it. Also we using like NetMiko for connectivity to devices and text FSM for parsing CLI comments. Because if we want um, to cover testing from different aspects, we want support for CLI, for YDK, for NSO. So it's different form factors. That's, that's why we need, um, we need to um, enable different capabilities and we are using text FSM uh, internally. If we take a look at the overall infrastructure, uh, the security kit, which we are run, 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 running uh, in the bottom, it has a lot of components to deal with because you need an abstractions. We provide the execution framework. It's the first one. All logging is centralized. So you just like use the common stitching for logging across whole your uh, testing ecosystem. Uh, for device connectivity, you are also using um, like CQE kit. Also like uh, interfaces handling or like power management, whatever you desire, you just like leverage CQE kit. Uh, we built a platform and model independent design. So it's extensible and you already saw it. Uh, we are based on a PyTest. So you know uh, how to deal with PyTest. You just like pick the specifics for this particular framework. And we have a centralized debug engine. It, it will give you a very nice and um, brief overview of what's going on. Because with centralized debug engine, or we call it uh, smart debug, you would be able to identify what's going on uh, with devices, which telemetry data we, uh, we collected it from, from the box. Also, all show check information could be collected, and many more. So um, this security kit library provide a pretty good um, capability for further extension and already has a rich functionality to, uh, to test your like, network equipment. As I mentioned, we primarily focused on IO6R and we keep hundreds of daily, act, uh, daily running tests and keep increasing this amount, but it can be ex extended to other operation, operation system or other vendors because NetMika is open source and cross-platform. So why we should limit ourselves? Um, Security Kit is the first and like, important co component over here along with smarts. But let's take a look at the next package. It's just a brief overview of what's going on in the package itself. The, uh, on the screen, you have AAA package, ACL package, BFD, bundles. And if you scroll down at least, you will see many more. Because those packages, um, we uh, have sub packages um, de derived by functionality. So for ACL, you will have hybrid I ACLs inside. ACL for IPv4, for IPv6. And those, te those tests, we would be separated for you. You can start with more simple uh, test cases. For example, the first test in ACL would be to check like some parameters if ACL applied correctly. When you can extend it, you can add more rules or more match actions for your ACL. And you can start to generate traffic. 
uh, it's important to have a uh, traffic generator APIs you know, in your testing toolkit or your art scenario because you can leverage it and make tests like it would be in a real production. So you generate a specific traffic and uh, CQE kit helps, uh, helps you with it. In order to verify what matched traffic like rejected or dropped. And when you can extend it like to hybrid ACLs or um, access-based forwarding. So we create a lot of test cases. You just take a look into packages and see how it's going. And underneath, it's all running on top of CQE kit. So those packages are just like higher level abstraction for our testing stories. We have creators over here and we created this solution to fulfill our own requirement and like for testing purposes. And now we are exposing it to our customers as well, because we want to deploy um, our equipment in a lab, certify it first, and we want to make this certification not to be manual, just not to go through your uh, man manual steps or for going uh, and like applying configs by hand, because why should you? If you want to certify more releases during the year, you just enable uh, the like CQE kit, you pick your favorite test cases written in Python, and when you're good to go for repetitive exercises of those test execution. Now you're probably asking, what is like automation package like structure? You can click on each test case in on cqe.cisco.com and like see which test cases are enabled. But in order uh, to execute like the automation package itself, you need to provide few details for it. And those few details are topology file plus uh, automation package input file. So uh, in the topology file, it's um, testbed.json, which gives you a very descriptive idea of what's going inside. We need somehow to tell our tool what to test. And that's why uh, the topology is like, crucial for implementation. Um, so in this like testbed.json file, we identify, we have three nodes. Each node will have uh, specific connectivity, specific uh, credentials, specific um, links interconnected between each other. Uh, so we specify routers, we specify servers, we specify like power supply units or like remote machines because um, I told you about smarts and we have functionality to install image on the device. And this is crucial for your testing because uh, you want to certify a particular image and this is exactly how we are doing. So every new release is certified. We are just like running the like, same amount of test cases. Plus let's say we have some Delta in terms of new test cases developed. We are putting um, new test cases uh, in action and do, having a full picture out of our certification. And we are able to catch bugs earlier uh, in the development phase, because every time you develop new image, new RPM, new SMU, you can install everything uh, at once and just proceed with it. Besides that, uh, topology file is one aspect, but you also need to provide input file uh, for your um, automation package because you are checking OSPF or BGP. You want to know how many prefixes can, can I test, for, uh, test or um, how many like peers or neighbors do I want to have uh, for my device? So you just like proceed and specify uh, those parameters in input file and all this glued together and give, give us a like um, holistic picture of, of the like whole networking like testing equipment and again, you start from scratch. You start like from one test cases written in Python. Yeah. You may avoid all of those automation packages and just execute Python one after each other. It will be just like your test cases in your local directory, you provide parameters, how to connect to devices. And uh, this is good exercise, but it's not scalable. Let's say you want like, to certify faster or you want to do like repetitive action over here. So. That's why you have all these like automation packages and smarts built on top of it. And if we will take a look at um, how our test beds looks like, um, you can che check over here as an example. We have um, 8,000 test bed and CS5500 uh, test beds. 
we have simulators uh, for Spitfire for 8000. We have simulators for XRV 9000, also at latest generation of our hardware over here. So uh, in order to make those testbeds available, we built an interesting uh, pipeline with multiple actions uh, to be executed in this pipeline. The first is you need like, to validate that uh, this testbed is alive once you edit it. When you're doing cleanup for this testbed, because if you want, uh, if you run a new set of test cases, you don't want to mess with previous one. So we have this mechanism of cleanup in the pipeline. Um, after that, you can provide an image uh, to be installed on the device uh, because you build a lot of images. You can build like multiple flavors uh, per per single day, and you want to give them a try. So you you have the interface for it. You just put it on your like DHCP server. We call it bake, and uh, the overall CQE could tell you um, like do you want to optimize image or, or use existing one, or do you want probably to start from scratch and just like clean up whole thing on the testbed and uh, install it from scratch. So the option is yours. Uh, so uh, as you saw, we have different type of testbeds, physical, virtual. Uh, we have also divided them by uh, amount of devices. For some things, you can use only one device. For example, you are checking like manageability uh, features, if some model is applying or not. That's fine. If you're going like into more sophisticated use cases, we are expanding our testbeds to three nodes. And with three nodes, you can check like already like pretty solid things within routing. But once you just like going into like very like routing centric uh, technologies and uh, like bleeding edge, let's say you want to test like segment routing or VPN. We have six nodes like testbeds available over here. And we use it internally and we made it available for our customers as well. So if you're interested more, CQE it's what you're looking for. Um, I talked to you about like all the major components be, uh, behind. It's the tests, it's the automation packages, it's like the testbed itself. But once you glue things together, you create a run. And within run, you just uh, specify which exactly test you want to execute, against which testbed you want to do it, and which parameters you want to provide. So it gives you pretty sophisticated and like um, a picture with a lot of details because you can test scales, you have abstractions for traffic generator. So sufficient amount of details is provided over, over here to submit a run. And if you want to submit a run uh, later in the game, let's say tomorrow, you can schedule it. Um, you have also like dynamic uh, testbed allocation. So it means if, if testbed is busy right now, but you can schedule it for tomorrow. That's convenient because of the like, internal pipeline, which we build um, for our own utilization. It's basically uh, built on top of Jenkins to orchestrate like various process, but plus so, some software pieces on top of it. So it gives you like pretty flexible environment, how to manage whole your testing process based on like open source components. Uh, if you're interested like, to learn more, because we cannot cover the whole universe in 20 minutes, you can check the public API. It's available on DevNet already, and um, you can check the URL um, provided in this presentation. But also, I want you to check extra resources for this page. Uh, it's like Cisco Live previous recording. If you have interest about uh, CQ itself and want to use it in your future certification releases, just drop us an email, cqe-interest at cisco.com. Also, uh, we are in close collaboration with DevNet. So if you want to pick up some XR skills, we have learning clubs on DevNet directly. I hope this session was useful and you learned something about how we test our software. And I want to thank you for participation. <laughs>